let us now do this example of this circuit we'll be calculating i1 and i2 um the only difference with this example as compared to the previous circuit is that instead of having a resistor here we are now having a galvanometer so a galvanometer is an instrument that is used to measure current um let's say we were to measure a current across this resistor we were gonna connect the galvanometer in series we're gonna we we're gonna cut the wires here put the instrument in series so that it can tell us the current which is set to be 0, 0,7 here it's not like the voltmeter if we were to measure a volt a voltage across this resistor a voltmeter must be connected in parallel for it to measure the volt drop across this resistor but why would why will you measure it if you know the current and the resistance you'll just calculate it you can only measure if you want to confirm so must an instrument that is used to measure current here be considered when we are doing a, a calculation the answer is no because it's the same thing with the voltmeter that is connected in parallel when we are calculating the voltage across this resistor if we know the current we will say 0, 0,7 times 12 we don't bother finding out the resistance of this voltmeter so that we add and we make it well so that we we calculate the total resistance across the resistance of the voltmeter that is parallel with r12 so we don't do that so when we are doing the calculations consider the galvanometer as if it's not here that is the only trap on this circuit so now now that you know that we will not consider the galvanometer when we're calculating what do we have on this loop on this loop we have no cell we have only two resistors we said we take this as as if it's not here but we know it's here but it's not part of of our calculations that we will do so let's go to loop one okay this is loop two so we will use these loops to calculate i1 and i2 if you want to you can use this loop um i've got other, other previous calculations that were using um resistors that were, that were using four resistors so where we were taking big loops so on this one we'll take these loops so let's calculate i mean let's make a formula for this loop so do we know the or do we have a cell here no we don't have so zero let's not say zero volts we have zero equal to we have this current across r12 which is going to the positive direction we don't consider the galvanometer so the current doesn't matter we have this current which is going the other direction not the same direction it's opposite that current because if it was going to the same direction it was going to point that way so we know that across r5 our sign is negative so we have r12 times the current across r12 which we are told that it's 0, 0,7 minus because of the direction of the current r5 and i1 so from the first step you can see that here we're not gonna make i1 the subject of the formula we will get i1 because we know the current across r12 and we know that um, r12 um, is 2 ohms so we know r5 r5 is 5 ohms into i1 so the calculator knows that 2 times 0, 0,07 is equal to 1,4 and this would be minus 
i1 on this case since i5 i1 since 5 i1 is negative let's just take i1 uh 5 i1 this side and make it positive and leave this one this side so we divide both sides by 5 to get i1 sorry not i2 i1 so we divide um 1,4 by 5 then this is what we get um we get 0, 0,28 so that's the current um across i1 right yes that's the current across i1 now let us come to this loop and try to make an equation according to what i see again here because we know that current we will definitely get this current and because we have the same resistor which is 12 and the same resistor which is 5 we again have different directions so it's possible that we'll get the same current so let us go to loop 2 loop 2 um, ba -ba -bum. so on loop 2 we have this current which is going to the direction um, which we will take as positive and this one which is going to the direction which we will take as negative so um, let us now we don't have a cell so R12 again uh, is gonna be multiplied by 0, 0,7 and what else r5 r5 sorry is gonna be multiplied by i2 so again here we have 12 times 0 0,7 0 0,7 times 12 oh 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 i made a mistake there um, we'll collect we'll correct that mistake later you see i used the two ohms instead of 12 so that means here we have 0 0.07 times 12 um, which is equal to okay minus 5 so we'll go back and fix that one this is 5 ohms i2 so um 12 times 0 comma 7 is 8 comma 4 minus 5 i2 so we take i2 this side we will say 5 i2 um equal to 8 comma 4 the sign changes so we divide both sides by 5 so i2 is equal to 8 comma 4 divided by 5 is equal to 1,68 amperes. So that's I2. Um, let us cancel this step here and continue on that one. 12 times 0, 0,7, we know that it's 8,4. Thanks to this common resistances that we are, we are given here, because I was not going to see this fault. I'm not perfect, I make mistakes, forgive me. Um, so we would then have minus 5i1. So um, what must happen now is we must take i5 to the side. I mean i1. So the sign changes and then we divide both sides by 5. So we know that it's going to be the same is the values are the same so it's gonna be one comma six eight mps so what would you what will you say um what will be the reading across that galvanometer since the current year is set to be i1 minus i2 so the reading across that galvanometer will be 
zero since i1 and i2 are the same so that is it um i hope you learned something here